Carpenting Tree at 1-800-555-TREE today. This is your trusted source, ABC 12 News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, June 27th. I'm Candace Byrne. And I'm Larry Ellie. Good to have you with us. After a gorgeous weekend, John's here now to tell us how beautiful this week will start. It's because the New York relatives are here. It's going to be an All of John's gorgeous. New York relatives. That's, that's half of New York City, right? <laughs> Pardon me? Half of New half York of City. Half of New York City. Yeah. That's right. We have Joanne, Marianne, Kathy, Lauren, and Joseph. And you got all the names right. That's, that's good. Right. And they're all staying at your house. No, no, they're all spread around. <laughs> they're all spread around. But it is an absolutely gorgeous start to this uh, Monday. Uh, and it is going to remain a rather gorgeous uh, week. Uh, we do see a few showers possibly tonight, but boy, it's going to be a long shot, I think. And uh, we'll have to be uh, watering some of the plants as we continue throughout the week. Temperature-wise, starting off anywhere from uh, the mid-50s to near 60. Even in the mid and northern parts of the state, have some 40s, but they're on the rise. Grayley was down to uh, 47, now 52, right at 50, both uh, for West Branch and Mile. With Flint in the background, we're starting off uh, the early morning hours with just a spattering of clouds. Sunrise was at 556, so it is going to be a rather brilliant start to the day. A few clouds forming. Uh, into the afternoon, but I think it'll stay dry for the afternoon, just an outside chance of an evening shower. So we'll have a mix of sun and clouds, uh, temperatures in the 80s. Normal high is 80. We'll get to about 83. Top of our second hour, let's uh, check with Heather on uh, the movement of traffic. Good morning. Good morning, John. Traffic is still moving very well throughout the area. We're watching some light to moderate traffic out there beginning to pick up a bit, but still the dry roads and posted speeds are what you're going to find through the Holly Sky Cam. You can see traffic moving well north and southbound. Similar conditions over on 23, and as the week wears on, you can expect to see more and more of these light traffic volumes as many people take some extra time off as we head for the 4th of July holiday. With ABC 12 News traffic, I'm Heather Barbara. Flags will fly at half staff in the state today for private first class Brian Backus. People are planning to line the streets of Harbor Beach as a soldier's body makes a final trip home this morning. Today begins the Harbor Beach community's tribute to the soldier and young father. Ribbons already line the streets and this morning supporters will stand beside them as Backus's body is brought home for burial. He was killed June 18th while serving in Afghanistan as an army medic. His family says he lived life to the fullest and made it a point to make every moment count. He did things in 21 years that some people don't do in their lives. You know, he, he was a dad at 18. He has a son that can carry on his, his legacy. Visitation will be held Wednesday from 1 until 9 at the Ramsey Funeral Home in Harbor Beach. Funeral services will be Thursday at 11 at the high school. A 16-year-old U of M basketball recruit will be taken out of a drug-induced coma today after he survived a plane crash. If you got wind of the story over the weekend, you know what an incredible story of survival this is. Austin Hatch was in a plane that left Indiana and crashed just north of Charlevoix Municipal Airport Saturday. The plane crashed into a garage. It would be incredible enough just to tell you that Hatch was the only survivor. His father and pilot, Dr. Stephen Hatch, and his stepmom, Kim, were both killed when the plane went down. But this isn't the first deadly accident Austin has survived. His mother and two siblings were killed when the family's plane, also piloted by his father, crashed eight years ago. Austin Hash is in critical condition this morning with broken bones, punctured lungs, and a skull fracture. He will be taken out of his medically induced coma today, and we expect to get an update on his condition then. New this morning, Midland police are searching for a missing 83-year-old man. The Bay City Times says Seth Charles Thompson may be driving a 2003 silver Dodge Caravan with a handicap license plate of 8754M. He is described as white, 6'2", 207 pounds, with thinning white hair and blue eyes. Also new this morning, 27-year-old Saginaw man is in jail after police in Bay City say he hit another driver in the head with a baseball bat. Bay City Times says the accident happened Saturday near Liberty Harbor Marina on John F. Kennedy Drive. It's believed the assault happened after the two men got into an argument when one cut the other off while they were trying to leave the parking area. A five-year-old Isabella County boy is dead after the ATV he was riding on overturned. The accident happened in the 9,000 block of East Wademan Road in Denver Township. 
Keegan Dunham from Bath was trapped under the ATV after the driver flipped the vehicle while trying to pull into a driveway. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. A new souped up Chevy could bring more jobs to the Flint area. The public got its first look at the black and gold W100 Camaro by Watson Hearst at Sloan Museum yesterday. The cars are collectibles and personalized to fit the owner. In addition to the new car, Doc Watson also announced the relocation of his high-tech design, engineering, and manufacturing company to Michigan. Watson hopes the move will bring more jobs to Flint. My focus is that the, the 100th anniversary cars, uh, we probably will have 60 to 80 people here before the end of the year, probably 200 by the end of next year, and possibly 600 by the following year. The limited edition W will be available through Alcera in Grand Blaine. It's 6.05 right now. Michigan universities so far have stayed below Governor Rick Snyder's warning against raising tuition by more than 7%. But most are coming in just barely below that limit. College students this fall will pay more than twice as much in tuition at the state's 15 public universities than students paid just 10 years ago. Of the 11 universities that have announced fall tuition increases so far, Eastern Michigan at 3.65% is the only one to keep the increase below 6.6%. Oakland University raised tuition 7% and the rest are between 65 and 7. People living in the Rolling Wood neighborhood on Flint's North End are now gathering to figure out ways to fight crime. They told our Rebecca Trilch they are taking action and they hope others will follow suit. Sunday night, dozens of Flint community members gathered near Beta Lane and Plainfield Avenue. I'm ready to tell my landlord I'm not going to buy the house, I'm going to leave. Some believe in recent weeks the crime has gotten worse in the Rollingwood neighborhood. Our neighbor, probably 15 houses down around the corner, they got him for quite a bit of money and quite a bit of guns, so now there's more guns out on the street. Picked him up out of bed and threw him out down on the floor and he wasn't a little guy. And, and they held a gun to her head and said, don't look at me. It's been so bad that Kenneth McLeod and Michael Drake started patrolling the streets at night, asking people to turn on their porch lights, and even decided to organize this backyard brainstorming session. And actually meet each other and know that what everybody looks like and who belongs and, and just band together and try to spot the people that are bad apples. Sunday, they asked others to raise their hands if they could help too. No, we can't resolve this overnight. But what we can do, we can make things safer and spread the word, and hopefully it'll trickle down to other neighborhoods. We can solve it. This meeting comes just days after Genesee County freed up jail space to make room for more criminals. People living in the Rollingwood neighborhood worry it's not enough. There's a lot more than that out there. They need to arrest. They need to find, you know, they don't have warrants yet, but they're out there committing the crimes, but they're going to put the new ones. So, so they're, they're just trading tit for tat. We need to open a new jail. Rebecca Trilch, ABC 12 News. Good to see neighbors helping out the effort. Down to John McMurray and a look at our beginning of the week forecast. Oh, it's starting off fantastic and it looks as if, except for possibly a brief, brief shower tonight, much of this week will be uh, a delight, a summer setting with dry conditions and warm temperatures. John's complete ABC 12 first alert forecast when we return. You're watching ABC 12 News this morning. Candace Burns, Larry Elliott, and meteorologist John McMurray. ABC 12 News, your trusted source. Closed captioning of ABC 12 News is a courtesy of Honda of Grand Blank. Lease an Accord for $277 a month. Get up to 34 MPG. Also available financing as low as 1.9%. I'm bigger than my mother. If she can die, am I next? A high-stakes journey. If you lose 100 pounds in the next 90 days, I'm going to get you a new car. Leads to a life-altering transformation. Extreme Makeover Weight Loss Edition, tonight, 10, 9 Central on ABC. When a heart attack strikes, you need an army fighting for your survival. McLaren Regional Medical Center's heart and vascular team is mid-Michigan's most experienced, providing the region's most comprehensive cardiac care, using advanced technology not available anywhere else in the area, consistently maintaining one of the fastest response times in the state. In the event of a heart attack, choose the team most prepared to save your life. McLaren, give your heart a fighting chance. 
Don't wait. The biggest 4th of July mattress sale in Art Van history is going on now with a special preview weekend. Save 50% on every Sealy, every Simmons, Stearns and Foster, 50% off. And we pay the sales tax, plus no interest for 50 months and free next day delivery guaranteed. Declare your independence from high prices. Our biggest 4th of July mattress sale now at Art Van Pure Sleep, Michigan's number one mattress retailer. Hi, I'm Jim Waldron with a message you'll love to hear. We've got your payment. At Jim Waldron Buick GMC, you'll get the vehicle you want with the payments that fit your budget. That goes for all makes and models on our used lot, too. Jim Waldron Buick GMC. Oh, let's do this. Look who's early. Prepare to ace your dental checkup. Fight plaque and gingivitis and invigorate your way to better checkups. New Crest Pro Health Invigorating Clean Rinse. Choosing a toothbrush can be a game of chance. For dentists, the choice is clear. Fact is, more dental professionals brush with an Oral-B toothbrush than any other brush. Trust the brush more dentists and hygienists use. Oral-B. <laughs> you want to feel that good? Come see us. Jim Walton, view a GMC truck in Davis. Jim Walton, do it. GMC. Your ABC 12 first alert forecast is presented by DNW Windows and Sunrooms. This month, save half off our HR4 Energy Package. ABC 12 News This Morning is brought to you by McLaren Regional Medical Center, by Art Van Furniture, and by Jim Waldron Buick GMC in Davison. Now, your ABC 12 first alert forecast. ABC 12, your weather source. And the fair weather cell that graced the area over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, still in control of conditions. Uh, we have a southeasterly wind right, right now, a very light uh, southeasterly flow at about two to three miles per hour, picking up a little bit into the afternoon with the sunshine. Pressure is steady and humidity hasn't changed either at 87%. But by the afternoon, I think the humidity is dropping down to under 50%. Uh, temperature wise, we have 50s, uh, mid 50s for the most part. Few 60s to the far south, also to the northwest. Traverse City is at 61, even 64 in the western end of the Upper Peninsula. Absolutely dry throughout uh, all of uh, mid-Michigan. Uh, there are showers and some thunderstorms to the west. Now, most of them in the central parts of Illinois, moving into Indiana. A few showers off in Wisconsin, but very light. I think the main thrust of this pattern uh, from portions of Missouri, Illinois, into Indiana, bypassing much of mid-Michigan. The showers in the northern sections of uh, Minnesota will move more to the northeast. These showers are driving a little bit uh, south of east. Uh, could miss us uh, completely tonight. So uh, most assuredly, as the week wears on, I think it'll be basically dry. And you'll definitely be watering the lawns and uh, uh, plants. Temperatures in the 50s to start off the day in the central and the northern portions of lower Michigan. Readings uh, were in the 40s in Grayling and Mayo, but now we're well, back to 48 for Mayo and West Branch, 49 in Grayling. Our forecast uh, for the day, we look for, well, quite a bit of sunshine to start it off. A few fair weather clouds this afternoon, so it'll be a mix of sun and clouds. 83 for the high with the southerly wind component. Just the outside chance of a passing shower for tonight. Low temperature, 66. Things uh, start off a little bit on the gray side Tuesday, but we'll be seeing the at least partly sunny conditions uh, returning for the afternoon. High of 77, comfortable temperatures and humidities right through the mid part of the week. Uh, some increase in the humidities by Friday and Saturday. Temperatures at their warmest uh, Friday and Saturday, mid and upper 80s. Let's jump outside and look at that traffic scene again with Heather. Good morning. Good morning, John. Things have been very quiet out on the roads for your early Monday morning drive. You're gonna find those clear and dry conditions and light volume, so posted speeds are easily being maintained. You can see through the Flint Skycam, very light traffic so far today. Despite the light traffic, though, you will still see a bit of a slowdown. Construction will have you slow on 675. You're still going to find a closure northbound from Veterans Memorial Parkway to Lapeer Street. Also on the southbound side, as you make your way along the short stretch there. So be sure and adjust your speeds accordingly. Give yourself some time to follow the alternate routes. With ABC 12 News Traffic, I'm Heather Bobra. 
In today's Tech Bytes, Microsoft Office is heading for the clouds. Microsoft Office 365 launches on Tuesday. He uses cloud technology, providing a virtual environment for various devices to store and share software. It's a risky move because nearly nine of 10 workplace computers use Office. For the product to succeed, Microsoft must convince some companies to switch. Lulzsec's reign of terror appears to be over. The group that claimed responsibility for hacking into major corporate and government databases worldwide announced over the weekend that it disbanded. Members claimed they'd gotten bored. Driverless cars are becoming a reality. Nevada is the first state to make it legal for drivers to travel in Google's automated Priuses and Audi's TTs. Proponents of the technology argue that driverless cars are safer than traditional cars because the drivers won't be distracted. Also, no need to find a designated driver. Those are your Tech bites. I'm Daniel Seberg. The Clio Amphitheater is about to open for the season with a major fundraiser and concert planned. It's make or break after major changes at the amphitheater. We'll check it out live at 6.15. Six sixteen right now, you know there's nothing like a little rock and roll under the stars. That's for sure. The Clio Amphitheater jumps into its summer concert series this week. Along with that comes a major fundraising campaign, one that could go a long way toward determining the venue's future. ABC 12's Mark Jacobson is live in Clio to tell us all about it. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Candace. Tomorrow night is the big season opener here. It is Shout, a Beatles tribute show. And right now I have Gary Langdon with us. And, you know, Gary, I know you guys are looking at a lot of things here this summer. What's really on the plate here? Well, it's uh, a situation where we have a whole lot of bills we have to mm -hmm. pay. Uh, we, we have really the uh, building and site fund, as I like to refer to it as, going back to school days. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we just simply have a lot of upgrades that we have to take care of this year if we're going to continue into the future. How big of a hole are you guys in right now, if you don't mind me asking? Well, we're not really in a hole we can cover all of our expenses. Uh, we can make all the necessary repairs and everything for this year. Uh, but we've built up a fund, uh, a, a, an auditorium fund, a, an amphitheater fund with the city commission of Clio uh, over the last four years. And we're going to have to spend that down. So we have to replenish that so that we can exist next year. If you take a look at video right now, this is last year's Eagles tribute show, which was a big success for you here. I mean, when you look at the future here, is this kind of a make or break year for you guys? It could be. Every year, though, has been actually because, again, we can not deficit spend. We have to actually have enough money at the end of this season in order to operate next season. Back in 2005, you guys had to file for bankruptcy. That was back in the days when you had big name artists like Jewel coming out here. You've quietly been making a comeback the last couple of years with these tribute shows here. Is this something though that can sustain it the way it is, you think? Uh, it may be able to, and I think our niche on Tuesday nights is, is with our tribute acts, but we would love to have a big name show mm -hmm. one more time uh, this year uh, in order to help us uh, uh, put us ahead uh, at the end of the at the end of the year when they do the balance sheet. We would love to have one. Well, a lot of big shows are coming up here. You have a Shania Twain show. You have a Beach Boys tribute show, among others, a Billy Joel and Rod Stewart show. For more information about all these, go to abc12.com. Check out the See It on TV section. Again, a big fundraiser tomorrow night to help with the uh, long-term viability of the Clio Amphitheater gets underway with a Beatles tribute show, Shout. So for more information, again, abc12.com. Live in Clio, Mark Jacobson, ABC 12 News. We'll be right back. Why are more people watching ABC 12 News first at 4? Reason number 32. Get your forecast an hour earlier. Reason number 88. You're first to see breaking news. Reason number 34. Get news that hits your wallet first. Reason number 76. It's always new, always fresh. What's going to be your reason? Today, watch ABC 12 News first at 4. ABC 12 Time and Temperature presented by Meadow Art Jewelers, now in Fenton and Flint Township. So, dinner, ribs or shrimp? Hmm? I say or when it feels so good to so say and imagine creating your plate exactly how you want every night for around $10. Come on, come on, come on. New Smokehouse favorites at Old Country Buffet and Fire Mountain. Come try our slow-cooked St. Louis ribs and golden crispy butterfly shrimp and savory barbecue country-style ribs. Enjoy these and all your dinner favorites for around $10. Old Country Buffet and Fire Mountain, the land of and. Your mid-Michigan Chevy dealers dare you to compare the award-winning 2011 Chevrolet Malibu, a Consumer's Digest Best Buy three years running. Highway gas mileage, Malibu LTC offers an EPA-estimated 33 MPG highway, which is better than a comparable Toyota Camry. A better powertrain warranty? You got it. Malibu beats them. And now an offer on Malibu that'll be hard to beat.
Chevy. Well-qualified GM employees and eligible family members can get a low-mileage lease on a Chevy Malibu LS for $179 a month. Call for details. See your mid-Michigan Chevy dealers today. Want to stay cool during Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort's certified hottest summer ever? Then don't miss Topless Tuesdays. Certified hot club members, you could win a share of $79,000 in cash and prizes, including a Chrysler 200 convertible. We're dropping the tops and raising the stakes during Topless Tuesdays. All June long, only at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Experience more. Supercash Payday Advance has gone high tech. You can now find us online at supercashpayday.com. Hey, do you know a place where I can get a loan without leaving my house? Yes, Supercash Payday Advance. No, I mean in my pajamas, uncombed hair, where no one sees me except my computer screen? Yes, that would be supercashpayday.com. Stay at home in your pajamas. Don't comb your hair. It's fast, easy, convenient, 24 7. That's supercashpayday.com. Now, your ABC 12 first alert forecast. ABC 12, your weather source. And we have long shadows on the roads. The sun is up. The temperatures have stabilized and skies are generally fair uh, throughout the entire region. Uh, readings have been pretty steady in the 50s, 60 degrees down below 60 in around uh, Shiawassee County near Owasso. In the mid and uh, northern parts of the state have some 40s. Still 49 degrees for both Mayo, West Branch, and Grayling. Along the shoreline, uh, 53 in uh, Taos and 55 near Pinconning. We're headed to uh, the 80s this afternoon with bright sunshine. Just a few fair weather clouds. High temperatures, 83 degrees, maybe an isolated shower tonight. 621 right now, a tribute to a fallen soldier tops our stories for this Monday, June 27th. Flags will fly at half-staff in Michigan, and people will line the streets of Harbor Beach this morning as the body of Private First Class Brian Backus returns home. He was killed in Afghanistan. U of M basketball recruit Austin Hatch will be taken out of a medically induced coma today. He survived a plane crash near Charlevoix Saturday that killed his father and stepmother. It was the second plane crash Hatch has survived. President Obama weighs in on the debate over raising the debt ceiling today when he meets one-on-one -on -one with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Their mission will be to jumpstart talks that broke down last week when Republicans walked away from the bargaining table. Republican presidential hopeful Michelle Bachman is dismissing warnings that the U.S. is on the brink of economic calamity. Fireworks display in the state lights up the sky tonight. Year after year, the Target-sponsored fireworks display brings out thousands of spectators to the shores of the Detroit River. This year's fireworks display is set for tonight, starting at 10.06. It's a car lover's dream. Two big car events in one weekend. Plus, John will have the voting forecast next. It's 6.23. Can we pluck a teenage girl from a mall and make her an instant pop star? Well, this week, with the help of the man behind the hit, Friday, we're going to try. You got it? Give me that microphone. <laughs> it's one week to hit it big, pop star on Good Morning America, this week on ABC. Save big money during the Menard Day Sale. Spruce up your bathroom with Magic Woods. The Chelsea Ensemble includes vanity, vanity top, sink, faucet, and mirror for $699. The Fairmont Ensemble includes vanity, vanity top, faucet, and upper unit for $789. Complete your look with an Elger bath faucet. They're all on sale. The one-handle Pelham faucet and the two-handle Livingston faucet both come in chrome finish for just $49 each. Save big money at Menard. Now at SCAF, you can get the best of both worlds. Save up to 60% on carpet and get it installed free. At SCAF Furniture Carpet One Floor and Home, the selection of Lee's, Bigelow, and Stainmaster Carpet is out of this world. Plus, it's all on sale at savings of up to 60%. And you can carpet one room, two rooms, or the whole house. And the installation is free. Yet you still get three years interest free. Choose from every style, every color, and get the best of both worlds. Big savings, free installation, only at SCAF. You can't beat free. Beth, hi. Looking good. You've lost some weight. Thanks. You noticed. You know these clothes are too big now, so I'm donating them. Not going back there again. <laughs> good for you. How'd you do it? Eating right, whole grain. Whole grain? 
whole grain. People who choose more whole grain tend to weigh less than those who don't. Multigrain Cheerios has five whole grains and 110 lightly sweetened calories per serving. More grains, less you. Multigrain Cheerios. at the Bay City Fireworks Festival, June 30th through July 2nd. Enjoy concerts each night with Rick Key and the All-Nighters, the 25-cent beer band, and the Bob Seeker tribute band, The System. Admissions $5 at Winona Park and just a buck at Vets Park. Hey, don't forget about the carnival. Open each day starting at noon. And finish out each night with our famous fireworks spectacular. The Bay City Fireworks Festival. Get more at abc12.com. Just seconds past 626 on this uh, Monday morning with uh, bright sunshine uh, throughout the entire state. The temperatures have been uh, very steady in the 50s, mid and upper 50s for the most part across the Saginaw Valley. Anywhere from Perry through uh, Wasso towards uh, Lansing and Okemos, uh, readings closer to 60. Do have some 40s, but uh, they're inching along. Now 49, West Branch and Mile and Grayling up uh, two or three degrees from the low spot this morning. And heading out on the open waters of uh, Saginaw Bay, crystal clear skies, lots of fishing going on these days. It'll be a southeast and southerly wind, dry conditions for the daytime period. Now the speeds will pick up a little bit throughout the day. Generally speaking, wave heights uh, less than a foot early this morning. About a foot or two, maybe a three foot or a two coming into view towards the uh, mid and latter part of the afternoon as we heat up into the 80s. Six twenty seven right now. The kickoff to back to the bricks is now complete. After more than a week on the road, the back to the bricks Michigan mitten tour returned home. Their final pit stop was downtown Flint for the end of the road party yesterday. On June 17th, more than 150 cars left Flint, hugging the Michigan shoreline to spread the word about back to the bricks. Our Kerry Gatlin rode along, sending back all this scenic video. Organizers promise this year will be bigger and better thanks to the efforts of the Michigan mitten tour. Back to the Brick starts August 16th in downtown Flint. Hundreds also gathered for the 39th annual Sloan Museum Auto Fair. More than 700 cars packed the Flint Cultural Center campus over the weekend with the featured exhibit honoring the 100th anniversary of Chevrolet. 627 right now, a 95-year-old woman is forced to remove her diaper during a TSA security check. Hear what her daughter is saying ahead in our next half hour. ABC 12 News This Morning is brought to you by McLaren Regional Medical Center, by Art Van Furniture, and by Jim Waldron, Buick GMC in Davison. Go to abc12.com to print the official ABC 12 picture or weather form. If your picture's randomly selected, it'll be on ABC 12 News and you'll get a $5 TIM card. No purchase necessary. Open to legal residents of the WJRT broadcast viewing area 12 and under. Subject to official rules at abc12.com. Entries must be received by December 2nd. Void where prohibited. Many will enter. Only 300 will win. Stanley! Somebody help! My hero! Anyone can be a hero with a new Captain America Cherry Culotta from Duncan. America runs on Duncan. You can't beat the lasting value of Made in America Solid Oak and Solid Cherry Furniture. Now at Art Sample Home, you can't beat the savings. Take advantage of special offers from manufacturers you know and trust. This Solid Oak Made in America Queen Bed is only $6.48. Choose from a great selection of timeless designs and finishes, all solid, made in America, and built to last a lifetime. Take advantage of up to three years of interest-free financing. See us for the details. Art Sample Home in Saginaw and always online at artsample.com. Sweltering hot outside, cool and comfortable inside. What's the most efficient and economical way to make that happen? Turn to the experts. Carrier, the number one name in quality and reliability. Blessing Plumbing and Heating, the number one name for installation and service. Save more than $2,500 on a Carrier high-efficiency heating and cooling system with a Blessing installation. Plus, when you upgrade your system with Blessing, we'll buy your old system back. Blessing Plumbing and Heating, it's a Blessing. Hi, I'm
Tony Young from Young Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC here in Owasso, and we want to invite you out for our 30th anniversary sale happening right now. That's right, we've been here for 30 years. We've got the best deals ever happening right now. New Chevrolets as low as 118 a month, new Cadillacs as low as 273 a month. And remember, we also now have Buicks and GMCs here in Owasso. So we got it all covered. Nobody beats our deal. Come out to the 30th anniversary sale happening right now at Young's in Owasso. Next live, Royal Pains Mark Feuerstein, plus from Doctor to action hero in Transformers, Patrick Dempsey. If something were to happen to us, would you be able to save us? I probably couldn't, no. Today at 9, watch ABC 12. ABC 12 News this morning, next. Flags fly at half-staff today as the body of private first-class Brian Backus returns to Harbor Beach. A 16-year-old U of M basketball recruit will be taken out of a coma today. He has now survived two plane crashes that have killed his entire family. Light up and pay up. Macy's charging workers who smoke more for health coverage. And Home Depot accused of illegally selling Chinese-made goods to government agencies. It's all coming up in the Bloomberg Business Report. I hope you survive that gorgeous weekend. It is Monday, June 27th. Glad to have you with us. I'm Larry Elliott. And I'm Candace Burns. The middle or the end of the month already. Hard to believe. Where has June gone? But at least we have beautiful weather. Our morning is starting with clear skies and temperatures in the upper 40s to the 50s. Expect lots of sunshine today with a few clouds this afternoon and a high of 83. A few showers will be developing late tonight. Now let's check in with the traffic. Heather standing by live. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Candace. Things have been very quiet on the road and they continue to be. Motorists are moving at posted speeds on the clear and dry roads. And traffic volumes are still pretty light, as you can see through the Holly Sky Cam. We're watching those building volumes, but there's not many out there today. We're seeing delay free conditions on 75 and over on 23 as you make your way south of Flint. Construction zones here and there will have you adjusting your speeds, but again, no backup so far this morning. With ABC 12 News Traffic, I'm Heather Bofra. Flags fly at half staff today as the body of a fallen Harbor Beach soldier returns home. Ribbons already line the streets, and this morning supporters will stand beside them as Bacchus's body is brought home for burial. Private First Class Brian Bacchus was killed while serving in Afghanistan as an Army medic on June 18th. ABC 12 will be there for today's touching tribute. Visitation will be held Wednesday from 1 until 9 at the Ramsey Funeral Home in Harbor Beach. Funeral services will be Thursday at 11 at the high school. A 16-year-old U of M basketball recruit will be taken out of a drug-induced coma today after he survived a plane crash. If you got wind of the story over the weekend, you sure know what an incredible story of survival this is. Austin Hatch was in a plane that left Indiana and crashed just north of Charlevoix Municipal Airport Saturday. The plane crashed into a garage. It would be incredible enough just to tell you that Hatch was the only survivor. His father and pilot, Dr. Stephen Hatch, and his stepmom, Kim, were both killed when the plane went down. But this isn't the first deadly accident Austin has survived. His mother and two siblings were killed when the family's plane, also piloted by his father, crashed eight years ago. You know, when we first got the phone call, it was, um, it was almost, um, uh, it's got to be a mistake. Um, you're talking about eight years ago. And, uh, and then they had to repeat it and, and let us know that, n no, it, it happened again. Um, shock. Um, uh, fear, uh, and, and the most, the, I think the thing that we thought about first and foremost was Austin. Uh, not the physical part of it, I think he'll get over that, it's the emotional, and, uh, and the, the love and the caring and, and, and what he's going to need from his friends and his family. Austin Hatch is in, a criti is in critical condition this morning with broken bones, punctured lungs, and a skull, skull fracture. He will be taken out of his medically induced coma today, and we hope to get an update on his condition then. Well, the family still has to be in disbelief this morning. Yes, he's going to need a lot of Unreal. support. New this morning, Midland police are searching for a missing 83-year-old man. The Bay City Times says Seth Thompson may be driving a 2003 silver Dodge Caravan with a handicap license plate of 8754M. He is described as white, 6'2", 207 pounds, with thinning white hair and blue eyes. Also new this morning, a 27-year-old Saginaw man is in jail after police in Bay City say he hit another driver in the head with a baseball bat. 
The Bay City Times says the attack happened Saturday near Liberty Harbor Marina on John F. Kennedy Drive. It's believed the assault happened after the two men got into an argument when one cut the other off while they were trying to leave the parking area. 634, a five-year-old Isabella County boy is dead after the ATV he was riding on overturned. The accident happened in the 9,000 block of Wademan Road in Denver Township. Keegan Dunham from Beth Bath was trapped under the ATV after the driver flipped the vehicle while trying to pull into a driveway. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. A Florida woman is outraged over what she says happened to her 95-year-old mother who was taking a trip from Florida to Michigan. Jean Weber says her mother, who is in the end stage of leukemia and just wanted to visit relatives near Grand Rapids one more time, was forced to remove her diaper for a TSA pat-down at airport security at Northwest Regional Airport. She was calm through it all, and, you know, she was upset about not being able to have any underwear on, and I said, I don't know what else to do, Mom. I really don't. And this story has upset many of you. On our Facebook page, Melissa says that this is the worst thing I've heard in a long time. I understand they're trying to keep people safe, but come on, who in their right minds thinks it's a good idea to make a 95-year-old woman remove her diaper? Horrible. Dawn says, I think they need to do things like that on a person-to-person -person basis. Does a woman in that situation really pose a threat to anyone? Get it together, TSA. Join in our conversation on our Facebook page. John? Crystal clear skies across a good portion of the state this uh, Monday morning after a near perfect weather weekend statewide. Temperatures a little bit on the chilly side, especially in the interior sections of uh, lower Michigan. Starting first, uh, Mount Pleasant, uh, 54 degrees with a very light wind pattern. Humidity is quite high, anywhere from uh, 85 to near 100 percent, but those humidity values will definitely be dropping this afternoon. Uh, the Readings in Grayling in the mid 40s, closer to home across uh, portions of uh, Huron County. Bad Axe is at 48. Again, speeds are very light, virtually calm conditions over uh, most of lower Michigan. The direction is from the southeast. Southeast to south winds uh, holding for today, allowing temperatures to uh, reach the low 80s on average at about 83. Good morning, Macy's telling workers to quit smoking or it's going to cost them. The retailer plans to charge employees who smoke tobacco $35 more a month for health coverage. Now, companies like PepsiCo already charging some employees who smoke much more. And Union Pacific and Scott's Miracle Grow among companies refusing to hire smokers altogether. In the meantime, Home Depot under investigation for possibly violating the Buy American Act. AP says the Justice Department's looking into whether the home improvement chain sold Chinese-made products to government agencies that were supposed to stick to products from the U.S. or other designated countries. And New York's mayor wants to give the city a gay wedding destination. The spokesman for the city's marketing office says the NYC I Do campaign will bring in millions of additional tourism dollars. New York State legalized gay marriage Friday. Bloomberg Television's parent is majority owned by the city's mayor. And shacking up may not save you money. We'll have more on that right after this. Bloomberg's Business Report is brought to you by Porsche, engineered for magic every day. A car designed with a singular purpose. Yet somehow, it manages to be so much more. Porsche, engineered for magic every day. Well, investors today checking out a report on personal income and spending. And we're also watching Greece, which is in day one of a three-day debate on spending cuts that could determine whether the country gets the aid it needs to avoid a default. Did have a lower close for stocks on Friday here in the U.S. as concern about the European debt crisis intensified. And a new study says don't assume moving in with your girlfriend or boyfriend will make you more well off. The Pew Research Center says unless you have a college degree and also don't have kids, moving in together has no apparent economic benefit. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Jane King with the Bloomberg Business Report. ABC 12 News This Morning is brought to you by St. Vincent de Paul with two locations, Flint and Clio. How did she make a windfall disappear? Glad you do that to yourself. Next, Judge Joe. Tonight at 7.30, watch ABC 12.
Serving Christ's needy is the goal of St. Vincent de Paul stores. Through donations, we're able to help with rent, utilities, clothing, and food. St. Vincent de Paul has several drop locations in Catholic churches throughout Genesee and Chiawassee counties. Once per week, we have Bag Day, where you fill a 33-gallon plastic bag with everything from clothing, home decor, and much more for only $10. St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store, located on Franklin Avenue in Flint and on Clio Road in the Mayfair Plaza. To schedule a pickup, call 810-234-5381. Thank you for helping us help others. Now is the time to take advantage of the hottest offer from Xfinity, only from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for only $29.99 a month for six months. Call 1-877-351-6612 today and access our huge on-demand library anytime, anywhere, so you'll never miss a thing. Watch hit movies, full seasons of TV shows, and kids programming, all available instantly. Xfinity TV for only $29.99 a month for six months. Watch your favorite scenes on any screen and listen to 45 commercial-free music channels from Top 40 to Classical to Hip Hop. Plus, get HBO included for three months. Enjoy blockbuster movies and award-winning original series. Or step up to an HD triple play and get up to $200 back. Call 1-877-351-6612 today. For all the mommies that I said, ah, you can do this. You know what? I'm sorry. A new life as a new mom with our girl, Greta. Why can't I ever figure this out? And another new mom gets a jaw-dropping makeover. You look absolutely stunning. Then... I'm the go-to guy to humiliate people on national <laughs> television. Is Wipeout's John Henson gonna make me wipe out? When we play Stump the Rage. It's a shoehorn. Close, but not really. Next week. <laughs> Today at 10, watch ABC 12. What are you doing here? You're scaring me right now. Don't be scared. He's in this hotel. Shut up. My heart is with Bentley right now. I just don't see what the hell you see in that guy. I'm sorry if you feel defeated. He's wasting my time. How dare you do what you did? I'm out of here. I'm done. There's no reason for me to be here. <laughs> the Bachelorette, all new tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC. Now, your ABC 12 first alert forecast. ABC 12, your weather source. And it was a picture-perfect weekend from top to bottom across the state, both Saturday and Sunday. A continuation of the same basic pattern is evident. We have a dry setting. We have southeast winds. Right now, speeds are very light, uh, indicating a calm wind speed. The pressure is steady, typically high humidities. 87% likely dropping down to about 50% or less for the afternoon, with a few clouds forming after about 10 or 11 o'clock. Now, temperatures, 50s, low 60s, 61 in Traverse City along the Lake Michigan shoreline from uh, Charlevoix all the way down through Manistee towards Muskegon, even into the uh, Kalamazoo area at 63 and 64 for the uh, western end of the Upper Peninsula. Absolutely dry across uh, lower Michigan. We do have uh, shower and thunderstorm activity coming into view to the far southwest down through uh, portions of Peoria, Illinois, but most of that is going to be moving in a easterly direction. Uh, the bulk of the pattern will it be in Indiana and Ohio. Our temperatures on 75, uh, anywhere from uh, 59 right up through 57 from Saginaw towards Midland and in the central parts of the state. Temperatures are again near the 50 degree mark, right at 50 for West Branch, Mayo, and also Grayling. Our skycast and service maps show a perfect setting to continue for this Monday. Southeast to south winds. Temperatures on the rise. Readings uh, early on in the afternoon already at the 80 degree mark. In the background see some showery weather. The bulk of the showers, I think, uh, for the most part, will be to our south through Illinois and uh, Indiana. But uh, there is a chance that we could get brushed by one of those showers later tonight. For the day, though, uh, quite a bit of sun mixed with a few clouds. High temperatures, 83. Scattered clouds to start off the evening, but a chance of a shower or two. Uh, low temperature 66 degrees and for Tuesday, well, cl morning clouds giving way to afternoon sunshine, high 77 with more northwest wind. And as we move towards the end of the week, we'll see a return of sunshine, basically dry. 
And I think we'll have to be doing an awful lot of watering for plants and maybe even the lawns uh, towards the latter part of the week with uh, uh, late week temperatures Friday and Saturday in the mid and upper 80s. Traffic check now at quarter to the hour. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, John. Remain accident free throughout the Flint and Tri Cities area. The roads are clear and dry, and traffic volumes, well, they're building from the morning, but they're still on the light to moderate side. You're going to find some sunshine peeking through, so you want to grab those shades that you have out the door. With ABC 12 News Traffic, I'm Heather Bofra. It's 6:44 in sports. The Tigers beat the Diamondbacks eight to three. Yeah, go Tigers! The Loons lose to the Lugnuts six to one. The Dow River Roar in Bay City had some choppy waters and race delays, but Chris Shepard won the F2 final, the first race to actually finish. Sean Torrente won the 50-lap F1 final. It's his second win at Bay City. Lots of fun on the river. A day of golf and an evening of partying is about two weeks away as the Genesis Health Foundation gets ready for a couple of its big fundraisers of the year. The morning mugshot Genesis Charity Classic will benefit the Genesis Regional Medical Center Women's and Children's Center. Golf at Warwick Hills on Monday, July 11th, then on Saturday, July 16th, join them for the Charity Classic Dinner at Warwick. For details, call 810-606-6387 or go to genesishealthfoundation.org slash charityclassic. Mark? Hi, Larry. The Clio Amphitheater is getting ready to launch its summer concert series. And with that, a major fundraising campaign is about to get underway to help keep this place open for years to come. I'm Mark Jacobson, live at Clio. We'll tell you all about it when ABC 12 News This Morning continues. Here are your ABC 12 Mid-Michigan obituaries. Obituaries. For more information, click on abc12.com. Can we pluck a teenage girl from a mall and make her an instant pop star? Well, this week, with the help of the man behind the hit, Friday, we're gonna try. You got it? Give me that microphone. <laughs> it's one week to hit it big, pop star on Good Morning America. This week on ABC. Your mid-Michigan Chevy dealers dare you to compare Silverado to the competition. Warranty? Silverado beats Ford and Toyota by 40,000 miles. V8 fuel economy? With 21 MPG, no one can beat it. Dependability? Yep, consider the competition beat. Silverados are the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. And now a deal that's hard to beat. Well-qualified GM employees and eligible family members can get a low-mileage lease on a Chevy Silverado for $205 a month. See your mid-Michigan Chevy dealers today. There's a reason restaurant owners all across Michigan display our Kogel sign in their windows. They know Kogel stands for quality and the flavor that generations have come to appreciate for nearly 100 years. People request, even demand Kogels when they go out to eat and when they're shopping at their favorite grocer because taste and quality are just as important when you're cooking at home. Now, you don't have to hang a glowing red sign in your home that says, we proudly serve Kogels, but we wouldn't mind if you did. Always in good taste. Just look at what you can get for free now at SCAF. Save up to 60% on a new Serta mattress. Get a free bed frame, free delivery, free removal of old mattress, free interest for three full years, and... And a free Serta counting sheet. Plus, at SCAF, you'll find a full line of Tempur-Pedic mattresses. Here at SCAF, we're Michigan's mattress headquarters. Remember, you can save up to 60% on all Serta mattresses and get all this free only at SCAF Furniture Carpet One Floor at Home. You can't beat free. Security Credit Union knows the importance of convenience in handling your everyday money matters. That's why Security offers a variety of online and e-services that let you manage your finances quickly, conveniently, and securely. Pay bills, check account balances, transfer funds, manage your credit card account, apply for loans, order checks, view statements, receive account alerts, and more. For the convenience and value your lifestyle demands, call, click, or visit today and talk with the people who know. Security Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. 
I bought beautiful carpet for this room. And I got carpet for this room free. Plus this room free. Right now, buy one room of carpet and get two rooms free from Empire. We offer quality carpet and you get to shop at home. Plus, we install next day with no interest for one year. It's an incredible offer. Buy one, get two rooms free. Call Empire today. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. ABC 12 News Traffic is presented by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Our morning is starting with clear skies and temperatures in the upper 40s to 50s. Expect lots of sunshine today with a few clouds this afternoon. showers will be developing late tonight. It's now 650, a soldier's final farewell headlines our morning's top stories for this Monday, June 27th. Flags will fly half staff and people will line the streets of Harbor Beach this morning as the body of private first class Brian Backus returns home. He was killed in Afghanistan. U of M basketball recruit Austin Hatch will be taken out of a medically induced coma today. He survived a plane crash near Charlevoix Saturday that killed his father and stepmother. It was the second plane crash Hatch has survived. A new souped up Chevy could bring more jobs to the Flint area. The public got its first look at the black and gold W100 Camaro by Watson Hearst at the Sloan Museum yesterday. The cars and collectibles and are personalized to fit the owner. In addition to the new car, Doc Watson also announced the relocation of the high-tech design, engineering, and manufacturing company to Michigan. Watson hopes the move will bring more jobs to Flint. My focus is that the, the 100th anniversary cars, uh, we probably will have 60 to 80 people here before the end of the year, probably 200 by the end of next year, and possibly 600 by the following year. The limited edition W will be available through Al Sarah in Grand Blanc. It is National HIV Testing Day. The Genesee County Health Department has free testing today at the two locations on your screen. The free Burton and Flint testing is from 8 until 11 and 1 till 4. The Clio Amphitheater is about to launch its annual summer concert season. The Mid-Michigan Music Venue has a series of rock and roll tribute shows scheduled, all tied to a major fundraising plan designed to help keep the facility open for years to come. ABC 12's Mark Jacobson is live in Clio to tell us all about it. Good morning, Mark. Seats look empty behind morning, you right now. Yeah, they're going to be filled up tomorrow night. That's when the first tribute show starts. We're going to have a Beatles tribute show out here, Shout, and that's going to kick off a whole summer season. And we have Gary Langdon. What do you have on the schedule this summer? Well, if, if we have something for everybody, we have that. All these are tribute shows mm -hmm. now. We have uh, the Beatles tomorrow night, like we said. We have Elvis. We have uh, Faith uh, Hill and Tim McGraw. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Shania Twain. You should see that poster. Uh, we have uh, the, the Beach Boys, and we have a Motown group called Sirius. And Billy Joel, too, and Rod Stewart as well. Billy Joel and Rod Stewart will be tied into our August 9th performance, which, which is uh, a pre-party uh, for Back to the Bricks. And right now we're looking at video from last year's Eagles tribute show here. I know you guys are kind of up against a few obstacles here. What's the situation right now? What are you up against? Well, we have uh, a lot of uh, bills that have to be paid. Uh, we have to do upkeep. Uh, you know, we put a new roof on the facility recently. Uh, we put on a new stage, and now we have to take care of the electrical and a lot of things that uh, that need to be brought up to code. And that brings us to tomorrow night's show. This is a big uh, fundraiser event here. What are you guys uh, looking to do here? Well, hopefully we'll make enough money uh, tomorrow night to help pay some of the bills so that we don't have to uh, pay down off of our contingency fund any more than we have. Long term here, what's the situation looking like? Are you going to be able to, is this make or break, and are you going to be able to bring it back next year? Again, every year is make or break for us, Mark, but uh, uh, we intend to. Uh, th this place is, is the fabric and all this community. It really is. And we are not going to let it not be here. It's mm -hmm. going to be here next year and for years to come. All right. They've had a lot of big names out here in the past, like Jewel and uh, O-Town back in the day, if you remember that, even Clay Aiken, and a lot of other big rock shows as well. But if you want more information about the tribute series, go to our website, abc12.com. Check out the See It On TV section. Again, tomorrow night, the big Beatles kickoff tribute show, a fundraiser event here. We're live in Clio. Mark Jacobson, ABC 12 News. We'll be right back. ABC 12 News This Morning is brought to you by St. Vincent de Paul with two locations, Flint and Clio. ABC 12 invites you to the Genesis Charity Classic Golf Tournament and Party. July 11th, play the legendary links of Warwick Hills. July 16th, enjoy the party of the summer with an evening of fine food, live entertainment, and a silent auction. Get your tickets now. Go to ABC12.com. 
this June. The Chipotle Chicken and Cheese is the next featured $5 footlong of the month. Tender chicken, melty cheese, red onions, and rich smoky Chipotle Southwest sauce. It joins our many $5 footlongs in June only. Subway, eat fresh. Some stores have all the fun. Fun, family, home. For over 50 years, they've all come together at Art Van, where fun comes in all styles for every room, for every budget. A bed that transforms a room into a luxury retreat. A table that brings friends and family together. A sofa the color of perfect. And when we help people get their dream life started, that's what's fun for us. So come visit us at Art Van. Some stores have all the fun. Free access to Chase ATMs wherever you are? That's a step forward. Chase customers can avoid ATM fees with over 16,000 nationwide. Take a step forward and chase what matters. Brian Elias for 1-800-Hansons. Summer is the perfect time to fix your roof, and during our 23rd birthday celebration, I'm cutting our roofing price to $1.88 a square foot. The best roofing price in Michigan, period. Plus, take an extra 10% off and take one year to pay. It's our birthday, but you get the gift. A new roof for $1.88 a square foot. Plus, an extra 10% off and one year to pay. Better work, better prices, 1-800-Hansons. Catch Twilight Tuesdays in downtown Flushing every week, and you might win a car from Delahanty Ford. Her dog ran over to my dog, hit him on the nose. My dogs defended themselves. I have a hard time believing that. Judge Judy, tonight at 7, watch ABC 12. ABC 12 invites you to a Bay City Fireworks fundraiser. Country Duo Montgomery Gentry plays Chippewasi Park August 7th. General admission is just 25 bucks. Get your tickets now at all Star Tickets outlets and at StarTickets.com. And a good Monday morning to all of you. Coming up here, nuclear power plants on alert this morning. Floodwaters surround one facility and threaten to reach another. We'll have the very latest as the country's top nuclear official heads to the scene. And Robin's got a one-on-one -on -one interview with Bristol Palin. She'll set the record straight on everything, including a possible presidential run by her mother. And some toll booth bandits that were caught on tape, how they are taking a toll on states and costing them and you millions. That is all straight ahead on Good Morning America. Good morning, everyone. The roads are clear and dry throughout the region, and we do have traffic a little lighter than we typically see during the peak part of the morning rush. You're going to find accident-free conditions, and despite some orange barrels throughout the area, no real backups. With ABC 12 News traffic, I'm Heather Volkra. So, John, you've been enjoying this beautiful weather on the boat. Well, we have some more. I'm sure a lot of people have, and they're probably hoping to get back on the water today. Oh, yeah, lots of folks out fishing in uh, Saginaw Bay, and a good setting uh, this morning and even into the afternoon. Winds will be mostly from the southeast, so not too much wave action. A slight chance uh, late in the, in the evening of a brief shower, but we'll stay in the 80s for much of this week, so some will be with us for the last days of June. No matter what you're doing on this Monday, hope you make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, 4.30 till 7.